Hi, and welcome to a product overview of Vazo's intranet solution. To get started, let's log in as Eric Blue, a typical intranet user. In this quick overview, we'll be taking a look at an example intranet site that has been populated with demo content. First, you'll notice the logo in the upper left. You can upload your own logo and also change the colors and fonts to match your company's branding. You can even change the skin to completely alter the look and feel of your intranet. Next, the user menu provides Eric with quick access to his account and profile settings. It also contains links to his bookmarks and content that he has liked. Below the user menu is the main site menu. This site menu and overall site hierarchy are completely configurable. The bookmark this and like this links appear on every page for easy access. Next, we get into the content of the page followed by a dynamic footer that is present on every page and shows recent activity. If we click on the blog page, we'll see our company news being displayed in a user-friendly blog format complete with commenting and like functionality. Each blog post also displays related content and categories. If we hover over the Departments menu, we'll see our Departments homepages. Clicking on Engineering will take us to the Engineering homepage. Here we can browse any information shared by the engineering team. We can even submit our product idea using a custom form created by the engineering team's intranet administrator. The team page is a searchable employee directory. Clicking on a member's profile allows you to view their bio, contributions, likes, and other profile fields that have been set up by your company's intranet administrator. The files repository allows employees to share documents. Permission can be set on each folder. Notifications can also be set up on any folder or file. The community section showcases Vaso's event calendar, forum, image galleries, and poll systems. The event calendar allows you to share company-wide events and important dates. The forum allows employees to discuss and collaborate on projects or any other topics that have been set up by your company's intranet administrator. Image galleries allow employees to share photos, perhaps for your new product line or your employee picnic. Polls allow employees to post multiple choice questions and view voting results. Now let's take a look at what your company's intranet administrator will see when they log in. So Eric will log out and the admin will log in. The first thing we'll notice is the admin bar across the very top of the screen. This allows easy access to all of the administrative functions of your intranet. The dashboard link will show a dashboard listing common commands, recent activity, and statistics. The content link will show us a searchable list of all site content. Hovering over the comment link allows us to easily add content and administer user comments. The structure section allows us to fine tune our intranet's user interface and menu hierarchy. We could also add a new content type, such as a vendor content type, if we wanted to use our intranet to manage and display a list of our company's vendors. Taxonomies, also known as tags, can also be managed in order to better organize your site's content and files. The People menu enables you to manage users, roles, and permissions. The Section functionality allows us to give individuals or groups with permission to edit just one area of the site. For example, we could allow Eric Blue to be able to edit the engineering homepage and all its children. Now let's take a quick look at page editing. Let's visit the engineering homepage. The edit link above the content allows us to edit some basic page information as well as the main content for the page. If we take a look at the bottom of the page, we'll notice the customize this page and change layout options. First, let's change the layout of the page by moving the right sidebar to the left. Next, let's customize the page adding a new text section. There are dozens of pre-built modules that can be added to your page. Let's add some text with an inline image. Finally, we'll move the text to the desired location on the page using the drag and drop editor. There is much more you can do with Vazo's intranet solution. Hopefully this quick overview has demonstrated the ease of use and flexibility built into Vazo's intranet solution. If you'd like to get started today, simply visit Vazo.com and click the sign up link in the main menu. Vazo is free for five users and no credit card is required. You can also reach out to us at the toll-free number or email below. Thanks for watching.